Eating durian may not necessarily be an art, but it certainly is an experience. It's similar to eating cheese or maybe even drinking wine. If you disagree, you can let me know in the comments. One begins to develop a taste for the bitter and pungent fruit eventually, and they also seek out the best of the best. And it may not necessarily be Mao Shan Wang, which is said to be the king of them all. Now, to recommend other durian types, I have here with me our ST Online Food Editor, Heidi, who will share some highlights of the current durian season and also how to make the most of it. Yes. Right? Yes. So, uh, we, we had this conversation yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, you did not start out as a big durian uh, lover. No, I, I, I'm I sorry to say this, but I don't even like eating durians. Um, but I do enjoy, but I, what I discovered from doing this story is that it's not that I don't like eating durians. Um, I just don't like eating bad durians. Mm. If the durian is very good, I'm a fan. Mm. So what other types of durian would you recommend to others to try other than the Mao Shan Wang? Okay, I, I discovered like quite a number of uh, varieties or what they call cultivars. Uh, durian jargon <laughs> during this, uh, you know, in, in doing this story, and I tasted the S seventeen. That really caught my attention because it's very bitter, and it's known to be extremely bitter. Uh, they call it bitter to the max. That's, mm. that's the term that they use. And I think it's a very interesting durian to go for if you really like bitter tasting durians, because it's only at um, twelve dollars a kg compared to Mao Shang Wang, which is about seventeen dollars a kg at the moment. Yeah, but the prices fluctuate mm. all the time. There is another one you said, which is like the anti-killer. Yes, uh, the lady killer of oh, lady durians, killer. Yeah, according <laughs> to Mr. Colin Chi, who is the founder of Spikes of Love, uh, which organizes durian appreciation events. Uh, it's called the Golden Phoenix or Jing Feng. And it's a very, it can be a small compact durian, about 1 kg, but it can render up to like 20 seeds at a time. And these seeds are small and they are also bitter tasting. And apparently uh, women, or at least his, his mom, his aunt and his sister, they like to watch their K-dramas and, and snack on this durian as they are watching their K-dramas. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, what, what is the taste profile like? Is it bitter? It's bitter. And it's a very uh, the seeds are small and the flesh it's very um, it's very tasty it's very bitter and it has more complexity than your so-called beginner durians uh, like uh, the D one o one literally a one o one to durians are more sweet those are more sweet the sweeter varieties mm -hmm. yeah but I think there's um, as they say there's no shame in liking sweet you know sweet flavored durians it, it really depends on what you like as an individual as an individual. Mm. Yeah. So no judgment here. Mm, now, okay, durians yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now durians aren't cheap and shopping for durians yeah. as we know is always a risk, right? Whether you, you get the amount of seeds you yeah. want, whether it's the, the one that you're looking for. Right. So what tips do you have for viewers when they go durian shopping? Well, what I learned from the experts is that, first of all, I think you've got to go to someone that you trust. Um, and I think every durian lover, or at least the one I spoke to, uh, would have like some experiences of uh, you know, unethical behavior and all that. So it's good if someone can recommend you where to go and you go there and if you have a good experience there, then you, you build a relationship with the durian seller. Uh, you know, it's, it's like, a, it's based on trust. So when they recommend you a, a durian, a certain cultivar or a new cultivar, uh, you know, you're more open to trying. And if, if you find that it suits you, um, I guess it's it's an experience. It's really an experience. It's not just about eating the durians, but also about um, building relationships with people who know it. So that even if you're not an expert, you can go in and you can have a good experience. So one of the thing is when you get to the shop, uh, even if you're not familiar with what are the types of durians, I think you should be able to know what you yourself like. Uh, whether you like it sweet, you like a bitter durian, or you like it bittersweet, uh, you, you tell that to the durian seller so that they are able to better find a durian that can match the taste profile that you prefer. And also things like um, in terms of texture, you like it runny, you like it creamy. Yeah, so, but runny doesn't mean it's bad durian uh, because for some bitter tasting breeds, uh, they are a little bit runny, but when they are runny, it seems that they are a little bit more bitter tasting. So mm. good if you like the bitter kind of durian. Mm. Yeah. Now there is also durian etiquette when it comes to buying durian. Yeah. Right? So you were sharing, uh, yes. for example, you yeah. uh, don't prod the durian. Yeah. It's not fish at the moment. Yes, correct. I mean, if they're going to open up the durian and you 
have uh, no intention to, or you know, if it's displayed, if you have no intention to buy it, don't don't go around poking it. <laughs> like, yeah, I disapprove of such behavior, even you know, if you're buying fish. So, um, yeah, more so for durians because if you're not buying it, someone has to come along and buy it, right? Um, and the thing is that if you know what you want, um, and if the seller gives you uh, what you want, then you know, there's less of a problem there in terms of you know having some misunderstanding or or you know ensuing argument and um, if if you go in and you don't indicate whether you want it sweet or you want it bitter then it's basically the seller has to play a guessing game with you and it's not mm -hmm. fair if you reject it just because it's bitter and it's not sweet as you like it mm -hmm. so if the durian is bland or unripe or it's worm infested then in these cases it's very clear cut that you can reject the durian let the durian seller know and you know they can change it for you mm. and yeah. the last tip you will have is don't haggle. Uh, not right. so much about not haggling, but uh, basically nowadays you, you walk into the durian stalls or at least the established ones, they have a board there where they indicate the prices. So what you really want to do is to be, um, not be shy, you know, ask what's the weight of the durian so that you don't have any, you know, confusion about the pricing or any misunderstanding. So, you know, it doesn't end off with a bitter taste, not in the sense of the durian, but like, you know, arguing with the, arguing over price and like leaving with this, uh, yeah, not, not the nice kind of uh, durian bitter aftertaste, but yeah, from feeling like you got fleeced, yeah. Mm. Got it. Thank you so much, Heidi, for sharing Thank those you. tips. They were really helpful and practical. Do, uh, do look out for the big durian package that uh, she's doing. It will be out uh, this Sunday in the Sunday Times. And those were our top stories for today. Once again, my name is Alyssa. Join us again on Monday for more big stories.